All right, well, thanks for uh, joining me here on my ride to work. Uh, I'm going to be starting uh, videos on sales leadership and marketing. And I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit uh, about how the three of those ideas can all be aligned under one principle of authenticity. And uh, authenticity, I find, is like a word that gets thrown a lot, around a lot. And uh, we spent the last 10 years growing our company at Intrigue Media uh, around this idea of authenticity. We read a, like, a ton of books, and it's uh, it's been a really crazy journey. Uh, just to give you some kind of context, uh, my partner and I, Paul DeMarco, we started it up 10 years ago with $400 each. And uh, this year, we're, we're about to hit $2 million in revenue. And it's awesome. We got a lot of work to do, um, but the idea of authenticity is like probably the main driver as to you know why we've gotten to where we've gotten. Uh, we're a marketing company. We help people get noticed and found. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about uh, sales uh, leadership and marketing, and how they all kind of run on the same fundamental principle. So if you consider uh, marketing at its core, uh, you really got to understand who it is that you're helping and what problem you're solving. Um, when you look at sales at its core, from our perspective, you really got to figure out who it is that you're helping and what problem you're solving. So uh, a lot of people go in and they, they pitch you know, ideas uh, before listening to what the issues are when they're in front of an another person. And, and leadership, when it comes to getting the right people on board, uh, engaging your team, uh, really is all about you know, understanding what you want to do as a company and making sure that you get the right people that believe what you believe inside the organization. And from, from our perspective, that's really the big idea in terms of authenticity. So as a leader in an organization, it's, it's your responsibility to make it very clear as to what the direction of the company is and what the values of the company are, meaning that you have articulated and you live out the values of that company. So if you believe that listening first and seeking to understand is important, then it's really important that you listen first and seek to understand your people. And it's really important that when you recruit, um, you put the idea of listening first and seeking to understand as a, at a forefront in the type of posting that you're putting in. Now, we also believe in an unquenchable thirst for applicable knowledge and smiling and being caring to the people around you. And so when we, we write postings, uh, we, we kind of take this fight club approach um, to make it so that if people don't like the idea of smiling and caring for each other and listening first to seek to understand and learning on a regular basis and studying every day to make themselves a better professional and a better person so they can grow, then they're not gonna like working at Intrigue Media. And so instead of us saying, hey, we got the best benefits and tons of growth and you're on the ground floor of a growing company, uh, we really try to flip it and say, you know, are you sure you really wanna do this? Because it's gonna be tough. And once we started doing that, it was amazing to see the difference uh, in the quality of candidates that came through our door. And when it comes to marketing, um, we talk about our purpose as an organization and our purpose is empowering leaders and strengthening communities. And we put that in the forefront of our messaging so people that end up talking to us also believe in the idea of leadership and community. And when it comes to our sales process, it's the same thing. We want to understand what the leader of an organization is trying to accomplish so that we can empower them the best we can and strengthen their community. And the community doesn't have to just be, you know, the place where they live or the place they work. The community could be their customers. The community could be their team. The community could be the industry they're in, and we really exist as a, an organization to empower them as a leader to strengthen their communities. So the idea here in authenticity is that as a leader, we, di we direct the vision, we also define the purpose of the company, and we have to live out our cultural values. And then when we do that, we can put that in our marketing message, and then we have to ensure that our sales process is aligned with all of those concepts. And that's how sales, leadership, and marketing can be aligned to create authenticity inside an organization. Now, I hope you guys got a couple of tips from that one. I'm gonna be doing uh, videos a couple times a week and posting them. If you have any questions or is there anything you want me to speak about, um, just write it in the comments below. All right, thanks a lot, guys.